Let's look at some new stuff. <laughs> now, first of all, what we have here is something called a piecewise defined function. So when I ask the question, is this a function, what do you think? Yes. Number one, I'm calling it a function, so it better be a function, which means it's going to pass the blank, blank, blank. Vertical line test, hello. Does this pass the vertical line test? It sure does. No matter where I draw my vertical lines, I'm going to be OK, right? Yeah. So this yeah. guy is a function. Even though there's an arrow at the end, that's understood. An arrow end where? Like at the end of the line. There's an arrow at the end here yeah. and at the end here, not at these endpoints that I have. Let me see if it's going and going here. This guy's going to keep going over here. No. This is going to keep going so up and up. Now, let's talk about the domain. The domain can be kind of weird, so let's talk about this guy. The domain is the set of x's, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy, what you need to understand is he's going up and up and up, and he's getting further and further out to the left. It, it may be difficult to see that because of the steepness, but he is going out to the left. So when I put this on the x-axis, if I were to smash all this onto the x-axis, okay, this guy goes up here as a closed circle, and you see all these other points will be mapped out here, going all the way to the left, right? Okay. Here, though, I have an open circle here at 3, and I'm going all the way out to the right. How would you take this, that's part of my domain, and write that using interval notation? Yeah, right, so right. what's on the left part? Parentheses. Parentheses. Negative, Negative infinity, infinity, infinity to... Infinity. Nope. No, negative I stop at negative 1 because I'm looking at the x values. I'm talking about the domain. Oh. And you see oh. I'm going from negative infinity to negative 1. Uh -huh. I pick back up where? U. I'm going to use parentheses. U. What? No. Not negative. Three. The x value is 3 going three. to infinity. I'm looking at the x values. I don't care where it crosses. I care about the x values that are used to make up this picture. Oh, I feel you, because oh, negative 1 and 3, that's the point right there. That's negative 1. Right, okay. right. So the x values that I need to make up this picture will not be, I don't stop at negative 4, but I need all these other ones too. Now, now what about your range? Now, look, think about what we did before on these. This guy right here is a closed circle right here at 3, right? right? Now, watch what he's doing. He goes down, and then he goes all the way up. Do you all agree? Yes. This guy is an open circle here, and he's doing what? He's going all the way down. Now, what part... What portion of that y-axis did I could I map everything back to? What's the lowest I get? Negative. I get all the way down to negative infinity. Are there any breaks as I go up here? No. Even though this was an open circle, so this part, this portion right here, does not include a y-value of negative one. This guy over here does include that y value of negative 1, so you kind of got to fill it in there. So your range is actually negative infinity to what? Positive. To positive infinity. It's all real numbers. Oh. It's going to take every single y value to make up this picture. This guy is going to require you to use from negative 4 to infinity. This guy requires you to use from negative infinity to negative 1. But when you put them together, when you join them together, that's everything. Oh, I see. It's everything. Oh, 